So, hello everyone. Um, unfortunately, I need to start this little video off with some unfortunate news. This is a pilot pen, and I don't know if this camera is going to catch it because it's zoomed out and doesn't like to focus on things that aren't at the precise location that it wants. But I'll, I'll just tell you, this is a Precision V5 Extra Fine, says Rolling Ball pilot pen. Now I got this specifically because I thought it would not bleed. Um, I traced the outsides of all of these paintings with this pen thinking that it would not bleed. Um, hopefully I can get it to focus. There we go. It's not focusing, but it's clear enough so that you can make it out. Hopefully. So, and here I'll go ahead and do it over on this camera. Hopefully it'll, you'll be able to at least, there we go. The other camera will focus. The one that I'm filming it from the side will focus. So this pen, it advertised itself as non-bleeding permanent ink. I bought it because it said it's permanent ink. It gives a nice, clean, sharp line. I love that. Beautiful dark ink. And it bleeds. <laughs> it bleeds. It bleeds horribly. So I, now that I've outlined, and now that this ink is down, I can't remove it. There is no way for me to remove this ink. Absolutely none. I could sit there and I could try covering it with water and blotting away and blotting away and blotting away. And it wouldn't do any good. So now all of these paintings are just... I don't know how else to put it. They're going to be ruined. But because I don't have any other choice, I'm going to do them anyway. <laughs> I'm going to do them anyway. I'm going to do them with the bad bleeding ink that is going to completely taint the background and muddy it and make it dark and make it horrible. I mean, it, flat out, it's not going to look good. So... And I, I got to say, this is, you know, this kind of goes right along with what I was wanting to talk about in this video anyway. And that is, you know, being anything that is not accepted. Whether it's something that you can pass, you know, on. In other words, you know, if you're, if you're gay, if you're Jewish, if you're something that is not accepted by society, but you can pass as, you know, being straight, being not Jewish, being, you know, whatever it is. You know, oddly enough, you would think that political parties, you could pass as, you know, not your political party. It's not like people would care. But, okay, I'm... When it comes to the painting, um, I need to start here, but I've already laid down some water here to see if it would bleed, and it did. So I'm going to start here, hoping that it won't bleed more. And if it doesn't bleed more, whether it's on this video or off, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to put water all around on the edges and dab it and try to stop it from bleeding as horribly as it definitely will. And because this ink is already down, I might do this on the next picture, but because this ink is already down, um, I can't exactly wet the background now. I just can't. I can't wet the background down. I can't wet the back of the paper and the front of the paper down and just hope for the best. That's, that's just not going to happen. So I'm, I'm going to be sitting here seething and begging this not to bleed <laughs> and it is going to muddy my paint it just is my paint is going to get ugly and muddy you know what this isn't that bad this isn't that bad at all yay this is not bad okay so i'm going to try to you know this video is already like five minutes long even if i cut off the first like three minutes of it where there's nothing going on. 
it's still going to be pretty long. So I'm just going to hurry up and finish my thought. And then I think I'll cut camera and wet this down and try to blot it. And I'm going to be blotting all of my stuff. And thankfully, um, I am using neon, neon orange paint. This is Koi colored neon, Koi brand, sorry, Koi brand neon paint, which helps. It helps majorly in the line of things not seeming as muddy and dark and ugly as they could be. Yeah, because this, this is bleeding. This is unfortunately bleeding. But it's not looking as bad as it could if I had used, like, some other color. Especially if I had used, like, a very pastel, kind of pale, kind of... Because neon is kind of pale in its own right, especially in the line of watercolors. But it could look especially bad. Yeah, see, and it's already getting muddy anyway, despite the fact... Oh, God. So this is really bad. So just, just hurry up and finish my thought. Um, it's really, really hard to just exist in a world where you're not wanted, where especially in in an area where, you know, it's like, you know, no girls allowed, you know, you can't hide the fact that you're a woman. And see here, yep, here's the bleed. Oh, man. And it's terrible that I mentioned woman right as my paint starts bleeding but yeah you can't hide the fact that you're a woman you can't hide the fact that you're black you can't hide the fact you know a lot of times you can't even hide the fact that you're poor you know you can't pass as rich if you're poor you can try uh the best you're gonna oh wow this is coming out so dark on camera this is neon orange and the camera can't pick it up the camera is not registering the neon it's coming it's coming out as extremely dark it's coming out as extremely dark wow that is amazing. The camera can't register the colors at all. That is fascinating. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and, um, you know, just try to fix this. So, and since I'm already at the eight minute mark and I want this video to be about 60 minutes, I'm just going to go ahead. And I'm just going to go ahead and do this bleed on camera. So here we go. This this is going to look awful. Just to warn you, this is going to look horrific. And I'm doing this because I have to. I don't I don't have any other choice. It, it has to be done. You know, this ink sold itself as permanent. It sold itself as good. And it's not, it's not, it's, it's a mess. It's not even a hot mess. It's an ugly mess. It's an ugly, ugly, ugly mess. Kind of like ugly anger and ugly cries. This is an ugly, ugly mess. This is not good. This is, ooh. I mean, you can't help emotions. But you can't help ink. <laughs> Dear God. Well, I wasted my money. I, I wasted my very precious. That, that thing of pens, I got like five of them, six or five of them. For, for me, it was a lot of money. It was at least seven or eight dollars. So that is, for me, that is a lot of money. It said it was permanent. I am so upset about this. You know what? Ray Dizzle said that Bic pens are her favorite. Um, my mom's favorite is Paper Mate. I'm really divided between the two. I I need to just use the the crappy cheap Bic pens. They are waterproof. They don't bleed. They're not easy to draw with at all. But you know, I don't know what else to do. I just need to get myself a pack of Bic pens and just bite the bullet and go with Bic. Doesn't matter how much I hate it. Doesn't matter how much I want some of these beautiful, dark, just silky, sultry lines. Th this is beautiful ink. And it turns out that it's absolutely crap. It's absolutely crap. And I've complained for about 10 minutes now. So, 
I'm probably just going to end up not showing this video at all. So, but just in case I do, <laughs> it's at the 10 minute mark and yeah, now it's at the 11 minute mark. So I'm going to call it good and I'm going to swear the rest of, rest of the way through this, what was supposed to be a beautiful painting, <laughs> off camera. <laughs> Because I am not happy. Oh my god, I am not happy. Oh my god, I am not happy. You know, this at least the only thing upswing about this is that this ink is so bleedable that I can actually go back over it and dab up the bleed. <laughs> well, maybe not even that much. Oh. Oh, look at that. That name. Yeah. Completely ruined the name because I put the majority of the ink down here actually drawing the piece of artwork like needed to be done. Oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry, but fucking Christ, Redizzle is right. I need to just, I need to use Bic. Bic the dick. I hate Bic pens. I hate Bic. When it comes, I love Bic pens. They are fantastic when it comes to writing. When it comes to art, I hate the damn things. I hate them, hate them, hate them, hate them, hate them. Hate them. They scratch up the paper. You have to press like nobody's business. They do not glide. They do not soak into the paper like this did. They don't provide a nice, dark, beautiful line. They are terrible, but man, when it comes to permanency and not bleeding and not ruining your stuff, they are the things to buy. They're the things to go to, and this, this painting is proving it. So, you know what? I might just post this as a complaint against Pilot V5 pens. They are not permanent. This is water. This is just regular everyday tap water. And it has ruined all of my paintings <laughs> now for this series, this set of artwork that I was about to do. Completely ruined it. I mean, look at this. This is so bad, I should just do them all in black and white. I mean, that's how bad it is. I should just do these in black and white. Just screw the color. It needs to all be in black and white. Oh. I am not happy. So, yeah. This is at the 14 minute mark. So, I think I will be posting this. I don't know if I'm going to be posting it in the series, but I am definitely going to be posting it. Yeah. And there you go. So again, here's your anti-advertisement, if this camera will focus. This camera does not want to, I, this camera does not want to focus, I don't know why. But here's your anti-advertisement for Precision V5 Pilot Rolling Ball Extra Fine Pens. I bought these things and they are bleeding. I'm sorry, but they're bleeding like a motherfucker all over the place. And... <laughs> not happy. I'm not happy. I can't, I can't, this, this is so bad, I'm not going to include this. In the rest of my, you know, June and gay paintings, this is going to be a standalone. And it is going to be a standalone to advertise not to buy these things for artwork and not to buy these things for archival quality and not to buy these things if you actually don't care about, you know, this is great if you want the document to run. This is great if you want to say, oh, you know, it was ruined because it got caught in the rain or I got or I ran through a sprinkler system. You know, 
or if you want any kind of an excuse for why the signature didn't work out or why the documents didn't work out because ink does run and it runs horribly and um us artists are always having to deal with that okay us non-computer graphic artists are always having to deal with that and there you go there you go Ugh. So I'm cutting the video now. Bye.